Okay, so um, this is the um, this is the uh, CNC precision saw, and it also um, turns into a, a precision milling drilling machine. Um, after it's, if you just retrofit it, I've made a few mistakes. The first of which, this particular gantry stem here um, shouldn't be there. It should be over here. Um, but the bit of rod that I bought, stainless steel rod that I bought for it, um, should have been 500 millimeters. And for some stupid reason, I bought 300. No idea what was happening that day. Um, so that's that part. The um, the actual drill head is a Proxen uh, uh, drill. Uh, it's TM uh, TBM two twenty, which uh, I picked up on on in on eBay. Uh, it was one of these uh, return repair jobs uh, from a local company, and they uh, um, and it just really works well. They did they did a, a good sale on that one, so that didn't cost me as much anywhere near as much as they normally do, which is great. This is superb. This is a bit of um, actually machined aluminium. You can actually see uh, if I can get in a focus on the. Let me see if I can just adjust the lighting here. You can see in here that these are actually machined rather than um, uh, extruded, which means that it's uh, pretty good and accurate, pretty good accurate quality. It's uh, from a from a cup, and it was relatively cheap. I mean, 45 quid for a lump of aluminium that big, already machined. Um, you can't really you can't really buy it for much less than that. So excellent price. Um, the the framework is extruded um, aluminium and uh, it's the type you get for CNC. It has that sort of profile at the end, as you can see. And uh, this allows you to use um, T-slot type um, uh, bolts through it. Oops, that one's not tight. No. Okay. Um, and... Uh, that allows you to mount things like these uh, rail supports and um, tuck wires in, that sort of thing. Just in here, eventually that will all be neat, neat and tidy. And build a frame, that is the important thing. Um, these these gantry things at the back here, as you can see, they are uh, uprights of the same material and they, they you get T-sections, you get, and you can build up frames and eventually this will have a cross beam across the top to stabilize it and keep it all square but you basically build a frame uh, the size you want and then around that frame you can build all the different axes now at the moment i from the perspective of the saw this is a, a, a y axis but if you look at it that way it's an x axis i guess um, but this moves on linear bearings which are these things here which are basically tubes full of balls in a row so that they um, there's virtually no friction on that at all. I don't even, I just have to touch it and it rolls. Um, and that's um, that's a pretty good uh, way of, um, of developing CNC. This is just a NEMA stepper motor, one of these little Chinese things uh, with a coupler that um, is flexible. It's really clever. It's just aluminium tube that's sliced uh, in concentric rings so that they the um let me see if i can turn it around you can just about see how that's made like that it's a kind of spiral and so it makes the the thing flexible which is really clever because any alignment with this ball screw when it's fitted which it isn't at the moment but any alignment with that ball screw that's out um becomes uh, taken up uh, the plate it gets taken up so it doesn't stress any uh, any motor or cause any binding at all um the actual cutter on the front here is um is a dremel it's one of these new click lock ones it's got a a disc which has got a a kind of a a batman thing so i can call it really on it and uh, you push it and it's sprung loaded and uh, there you go and then you turn it and it comes off and replaces it so that'd be running at high high speed at the moment i'm using a, a, a stepper motor driver that i had there's going to be another one coming it's very similar basically it's a bunch of uh, 
drivers that run the computer plugs into here and uh, <clears throat> you can turn it into a CNC machine at the moment only one of the drivers is actually used, being used just to drive this uh, this motor here um, to move this backwards and forwards because the idea was uh, just to run it hit a limit switch reverse come back hit a limit switch reverse come back now at the moment there's one thing missing and that's what causes this to lower each time progressively and at the moment I'm I'm thinking of different ways of doing that uh, ultimately this is going to be a CNC machine um, as I understand and learn about CNC um, it will have this uh, this um, this drill mount mounted on here swung round and uh, this head mounted on top of here uh, which would, would allow you to do precision drilling in a row um, but I think ultimately what I want to do is make uh, an x-axis across here which will allow this to move backwards and forwards on on a similar rail system then if this is fixed mounted um, I could then have a z-axis up and down which would lower and raise this so ultimately uh, it would negate the need for, for actually pivoting it but the moment this can uh, let me just release try and release this without dropping it um, that's one yeah, you can't really do this without the camera uh, for causing problems but um, let me just hold on to this for a second that's two and these are these are now released and you can see this will go up and down like that um, and allow this to 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 drop down onto the workpiece like that ultimately okay so now we need to put it back again uh -huh. okay bear with me a tick while i do that i'm not cutting anything at the moment because it's all plugged in okay so it's actually raised up above the workpiece at the moment you get the idea this will actually um, cut as it as it bites into the into the rail to the end hits a switch goes click back again click back again click and at the moment I can just manually drop it uh, it's certainly a lot easier than using a hacksaw um, but ultimately it will automatically drop the the new board that's coming that matches this one uh, has a handset and you um, you basically train it to to make the axes go up and down left and right um, like a CNC um, but the coding that would normally be run by a computer is stored on a chip on the board and that allows you to press repeat so that any any repeatable jobs which is basically what these things are for uh, can be done over and over and over again so you'll have a program that is learnt by this board completely independent of a computer and uh, and you can press repeat and it will do the same job again with the same piece of metal so if you had to cut four or five things of the same um, same type of job then it was simply a case of teaching the machine to do that that can be stored and rerun you can store another program and rerun so for different for different jobs you can have a set of programs to do the same job over and over again and i think that is really what i need this for um it seems a bit pointless going to the extreme of having all of the um the thing can controlled by a computer at the moment let me just switch this on it's pretty quiet not cutting anything obviously but this is running um as you can see without any movement at all without any run out at all this is because this is a very very precision or well, pretty well precision spindle on these props on uh, drills uh, that's what you pay the money for there's um, if you're going to cut a slot that's a, a fraction of a, of a millimeter thick you don't want this wobbling all over the shop um, and uh, ending up um, making a, uh, an error on the cut this is running at the moment if I stick a laser on here bear with me Aim that at the, there we go. 
and you can see that's running at five and a half thousand revs. Got to get it lined up. There you go. Yeah, around about five, five, six thousand revs um, on on the uh, spindle, and if we get a close up of the spindle as it's running uh, here without chopping our finger off you can see that it's uh, there's very little play in that spindle uh, if any uh, so it makes for a very very accurate uh, and quiet system it will go up to um, up to eight eight and a half thousand revs uh, I haven't got it on the high speed setting there are, there are band settings on here that will allow you to change that and I've also got a, a variable speed uh, device, let me switch that off before it causes any damage. Um, there's a variable speed device that I've got that you can plug this, this drill into and you can adjust the speed accordingly to the, um, to the material being cut. Some materials like being run fast, such as aluminium, um, some, some like to be run slow. Um, such as you know brass and various other soft materials might be, might need a slower speed uh, and steel obviously uh, so so that's it other adaptations that will be made this area here will be enclosed in not only a, uh, a, a polycarbonate um, windowed environment um, but also a, a tray underneath which will be a liquid tray and allow um, a fine mist to be sprayed on on whatever you're cutting on i don't think these discs you you necessarily need it but on milling you certainly would and uh on on some materials and uh and and that can be controlled by the stepper motor driver board here which has an output to allow mist control and pumping the coolant around and so on and so forth so that and also it, uh, the other thing it will do on on automatically is adjust the spindle speed so you can um, set a program for a particular metal and and allow that to um, to kick in and uh, adjust the speed of the of the control of the of the, of the actual motor so that's how we, how far we've got so far so the jobs to be done obviously <laughs> extend that even just to use it manually at the moment I could use it manually right on the very edge but you can see I can only go that far more across this way and with the whole bar it, it will allow me to go right the width of, of each uh, of, the, of the entire table. So um, I can move that manually in the X direction and automatically at the moment in the Y direction. Uh, we're also waiting for uh, pillar, pillar mounts, these, this rod, this ball, uh, I need a mount for. Um, and I also need to make a mount for the, the bearing, this, this, uh, this lead screw block. Uh, turns the actual motor turns this will be fixed under the table and that will move the motor backwards and forth um, so that's about it not bad it's getting there and so far is about 300 pound um, which is considerably less than a cnc machine so um, it's just playing around at the moment but we ultimately will rely on this to cut most of the jobs for the tool making and, and uh, woodworking projects cheers guys